Could hieroglyphic messages be a lost language still completely misunderstood? The symbolism of past events literally assimilates into character writing across the world and in China. Important characters come down to us from the prehistoric events that have shaped our entire cultural response. This widespread phenomena of the Squatterman event is the true path to truth. It's the key to understanding everything that has been forgotten. It's the lost knowledge of the ancients and it is staring right at us. The understanding becomes lost, but the pattern of the event is ingrained into our very being, into our very existence. Wait to hear this. All around the world, the distinct pattern emerges from the earliest of times, influenced by events long forgotten in the minds of Earth inhabitants, yet, strangely, still present. As the cave-dwelling survivors of the petroglyph message spread forth with culture into a world obliterated by the events generated in the squatter field, the symbol for the Chinese character Xu is only one more clear example of the manifestation in the Taurus field. One of the most important symbols in Chinese culture is in that of the one for longevity. This is known as the symbol Xu. The star of Xu is the star of the South Pole in Chinese astronomy where all worldwide petroglyph patterns are oriented and this is believed to control the lifespans of mortals in Chinese culture. According to legend, Xu was carried in his mother's womb for 10 years before being born and he was already an old man when he was born. Xu is recognised by his high domed forehead and the peach which he carries as a symbol of immortality, very similar to the scarab of Egyptian reasoning. These are visually represented by the three star gods of the same names commonly depicted as three figures as represented across culture and belief, known to the Chinese as Sang Jing. Xu as a deity is instantly recognisable and longevity is commonly recognised as one of the five of Chinese belief that are often depicted in a homophonous rendition of the five flying bats because the word for bat in Chinese sounds like the word for good fortune or happiness, or in this case, blessings. In this arrangement, the Shu ideograph sometimes takes the dominant central position, replacing the fifth bat. As the Chinese symbol of longevity, similar to the Egyptian symbol of immortality and obviously very closely related, is a key witness in the understanding of an event that these ancient people saw in the sky. The symbol of Shu and the scarab symbol lose this ancient meaning but the key characteristics of these symbols and the similarities are unmistakable, like this ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic, where the very important meaning is literally lost to history. Here we can surmise that Egyptian god Ra is generating the squatter field. The Egyptian hieroglyphic Kefir means to succeed to be, that is to say, to make oneself, to give oneself a given form, to rebuild oneself. This is the manifestation as they saw it in the sky. In China, the meanings assimilated into life as key goals. The three gods, known as Sang Jing, come after the symbol. The symbol of Shu comes first and become the deity, as the symbolic meaning becomes lost. And of course, in China, we find the petroglyphs that match the Squatterman theory oriented to the South Pole. Is this really all just a coincidence? We think not.